Hi friends, thanks for joining me for Tassel Tuesday. For those of you who are new to my channel, you might not know, but I used to host Tassel Tuesday every single week and I did it for a couple of years. And so I have amassed a huge collection of Tassel Tuesday videos. So if you're interested in learning about them, check out my playlist and there's every sort of tassel you could almost possibly imagine. So my friend Veronica, at Christie's Crazy Crafty Life, always enjoyed Tassel Tuesday. And she has mentioned several times that she really misses it. So I emailed her and I said, hey, do you wanna co-host some Tassel Tuesday with me? And she said, yes. So she is co-hosting Tassel Tuesday with me from December through March. So we'll have December, January, February, and March that we'll be making some tassels and posting them on the first Tuesday of each month. It's an open collab. If you want to join us, please do. Show us what you've got. Show us what you've made. Uh, tassels are great fun in my life. Just, I love making them. They just bring me so much happiness. I feel like tassels have their very own personality and character, and that's one of the reasons I love making them. So if you've never made one and you'd like to, I will be sure to include one of my how-to videos, or maybe a couple of them, in my description box. You can go check them out and see uh, if you'd like to make them. There are several ways to make them. I use a couple different methods, and so I'll try to put in one of each kind of method uh, if I can find them. So, with that being said, here I was just sharing with you some tassels that I've made in the past. I think some of these are listed in my Etsy shop. If you don't want to make one, but you want one, uh, you can check out my shop and see what I've got in there. As I mentioned, it's an open collab. Join us, use the hashtag Tassel Tuesday, and also include my channel, Creating with Jovi, and also Veronica's channel, and the name of hers is Christie's Crazy Crafty Life, and I'll be sure to attach that in my description box as well. Also, I think I'll just mention before I get into the tassel that I actually made for this video, if you see a tassel from one of these that I'm showing you and you'd like it, just let me know and I will let you know the cost. They're typically $12 and I'll ship it off to you. Now, let's get to the tassel that I made for this video. And then once I share that with you, I wanna let you know that I'm gonna give you a very quick step-by-step -step instructions on how to quickly put a tassel together. Friends, I want to show you the tassel that I made for today's Tassel Tuesday video. This is a Christmas tassel and it has a lobster claw clasp here. So this can be attached to your journal if you'd like or you can hang it on something else. I have these hanging around my house so you can use them for home decor as well. All right, so we've got, this is actually real satin ribbon. Wait, silk. This is silk right here. This is nylon. This is trim. So these were fabrics from, I can't remember what, but this is not store-bought trim. These were actually fabrics from something. Uh, could have been, where would I have gotten silk? That I don't know. A curtain maybe? I don't know. But anyway, I use fabrics in my tassels and I love using them because you can make a really robust, fluffy tassel without spending the money that you would spend on if you're purchasing trim because trim is expensive and uh, to do a whole tassel with trims unless it's just a sort of a refined small tassel it, it costs a fortune. So at any rate uh, the reds are from fabrics and then this is actually from Trim as well as this. And this is a little sorry silk that was gifted to me. So this is my tassel and I wanna show you, I did add, I hope, you, I hope you can see it. I added these little Santa Clauses. There's one here and they are actually ceramic. 
So I will get a picture of this hanging on a journal or a book or something like that so you can see how we use these tassels. If you would like some quick steps on how I put the tassels together, hang tight. I will have them right now. First, gather some fabric or some trim. Next, lay them out on your table. Now put the fibers through your lobster claw clasp. Next, use trim or fabric and tie it around your fibers to hold them stable. Finally, use charms or beads to embellish your tassel. Friends, I hope you enjoyed this video. I hope you will join myself and Veronica for Tassel Tuesday. Thanks for watching. See you soon.